we need to get a fire in our belly. We get excited about this. We gotta have a smile and a song and a bounce in our step. Man, we just gotta get excited. You know? God has done great things. God has done so many, so many great things. And it's fun to see people who have been touched by that. Because those are the ones that are out there turning the world upside down. I don't want to live a meager, baseline, rat race life. I want to be excited about something. I want to be excited about something. I want to, be, I want, I want to have a smile and a song, and, and I just I want to be excited. But you're never going to be excited if you don't find your purpose. And when you begin to find your purpose, I promise you this, I promise you this, when you begin to know why you're here on earth, okay, in this room with these people, when you begin to realize, when you get to figure that out, like, I know what it is I'm supposed to do. I know what it is I'm supposed to do. Man, I tell you, that's when you get amped up. That's when you get excited. And that's the kind of stuff that, you know, it'll, it'll make you work 20 hours a week and 20 hours a week. Never mind. You guys missed that one. So 20 hours a day when you just get excited, you know, and nothing will hold you back. Paul, he says, it says, it says, I am unashamed of the gospel of Christ. Awesome. Unashamed of it. Why was he unashamed of it? He was passionate because he knew that was his purpose in life. He knew that giving the gospel was his purpose in life. And we're going to talk about that when it comes to our faith. When it comes to church. Because I want to, I want to cover all these things. Super important. We've got to have passion in our lives. That's what motivates us. Now friends, if you're here today and you don't have passion in your life, boy, we've got to find your purpose. We've got to find purpose and then reinforce that with passion. We can get excited about it get excited where, where you don't have to just be placid all the time. You don't have to just be blah. Now, if you're blah, I'm not saying, I'm not picking on anyone. I'm just saying we can be less blah. Right? We can be less blah. We can be more blah! You know? <laughs> if I'm going to be blah, I'm going to be excited about it. You know? <laughs> so what's your purpose in life? I don't know, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> anyway. I think everyone here today knows Christ as their Savior. I saw the coolest thing yesterday. I just wanted to share this with you. And then uh, we'll close. Yesterday we were watching these, uh, these training seminars. No kidding. Don't know this guy. Never met him. Heard his name a couple times. His name is Benjamin Burks. He heads up the Reformers Unanimous, uh, kind of the global outreach. And he's we're doing these video segments. It was probably, what, five-year-old video. And, and he's talking and he's preaching. He's telling about how important it is to help people understand you know he's excited he's passionate about it wouldn't you agree those who have watched it he's passionate he's excited about it and he says man he says let me tell you what if you don't know where you're going when you die he whips this baby out and i'm like no kidding he's gonna give me a wallet illustration i knew it and he says i want this hand he used the wrong hand he said this hand is you and me and i was like that confuses that's confusing the gospel <laughs> this hand is you and me and this wallet is sin in this hand Get the gospel right. <laughs> you can use either hand. You understand there's... Anyway, this hand is you and I and this wallet is sin. And God loves us, hates our sin. The Bible says that there's a wage for this sin, a payment for this sin. It's death, separation from God. The Bible says that we can make this payment but we are going to spend an eternity separated from him. That's why God the Father sent a Redeemer, sent Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago to die on the cross to pay the sin debt that we owe. It's not about a good work. It's not about a church. It's not about giving money. It's not about raising a hands. It's about what you believe do you believe that Jesus died for you? Do you believe that by faith he took your payment or took the debt, pay, debt and he made the payment rather. He made the payment 
for your sin debt. If you believe that, that's what saves a person. It's not what church you go to. It's not what aisle you walk. It's about faith in Jesus Christ alone as your Savior. And when you believe that, when you trust Him that He died on the cross and rose again the third day, He looks at you and me as righteous as Him. That is salvation. That is salvation. If you haven't done that, if you in the quietness of your mind say, Lord, the best in know how I believe you died for me. I believe you made your payment, made, my, made the payment of sin for me on the cross. If you believe that, you'll be saved forever. It's wonderful. What's not to get excited about? Is it the fact that you have eternal life? Is it the fact that you know God personally through faith? What's not to get excited about? Is it the fact that he saved you from all present power of sin? You don't have to get excited about that? If you ask me, that's, that's something to get excited about. He saved us from the presence of sin, the power of sin. He gives us eternal life that we can never lose. So we never have to find it again. He saved us from our sin. I love that. If you haven't done that, simple faith alone in Jesus Christ alone will save you forever. And then we can get excited about something. We can have a start to get excited about something.